All right, so last video we replaced the brake master cylinder. I went around and bled all the brakes, but we're still experiencing that squishy pedal. The only thing I can think of is that there's air in the ABS module. So I'm gonna be using this OBD 11 tool to actually activate that module and go around all four corners uh, and bleed each corner with the ABS module and pump running. So we'll hopefully find some air in the lines there um, but what I'm going to do is just put this chest mount on and go around and do all of that. So I'll try to explain it as I go, but that's what we're going to be doing today, bleeding the brakes while activating the ABS module. All right, so since we are going to have to have the car in auxiliary to uh, use this tool, we're going to want to put the car on a battery charger so that the voltage doesn't um, drop. Uh, if it does, some of the functions that we get with this will stop working. Uh, I've also got the power bleeder hooked up here. Uh, I will probably be bleeding between 15 and 20 PSI. I've done 20 before and, and the whole system uh, holds up just fine with 20 PSI. So we'll do that. Um, but first we've got to plug this in and connect to the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead, start the, start the battery charger. And we'll go put this in the vehicle. With this OBD11 tool, you're gonna to need an Android device. Start a screen recording. So you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is connect. So we are connected. Here's the information for this car. So now we just need to pump this bleeder up. So what I'm going to do is open this up while the ABS module is running and hopefully we can get some air out of the system.
See all this air? I'm really hoping that that's our problem. Just gonna let it keep going until it keeps coming out. Let's check the pressure. Still got good fluid in here. I was not getting any air whatsoever when I bled them just the traditional way without going through this scan tool. So, interesting.